Federal High Court in Port Harcourt has struck out the suit filed by an aspirant in the PDP governorship primaries in Edo State, Omorigi, Ubede Hama. The aspirant had approached the court seeking to bar Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki from participating in the PDP primaries. Now, with this judgment, it means that um, Governor Godwin Obaseki can now uh, participate in the primaries slated for Thursday, which is tomorrow. And joining us to discuss this is the Deputy Governor of Edo State, Philip Shaibu. Good to have you join us um, this hour. Now, let's start by getting your reaction to this judgment, which ruled in your favor. Yeah, uh, I want to thank God. Uh, uh, PDP is a very, uh, it's a happy family, and PDP have mechanism for resolving its own uh, issues. And uh, we are just new here, and we are amazed at the level that the PDP leadership and the governors can come together to resolve internal uh, problems and this has led to the uh, judgment that we got in Portaco today. It shows organization, it shows good spirit, it shows that uh, it's, a, it's, it's a house that uh, really wants to uh, forget about the past and build a strong uh, party that will definitely be seen as a party that has this internal cohesion and are able to resolve Mis little uh, misunderstanding. And that has led to the judgment that we got today. Right, so um, many people say that this judgment was as a result of some sort of out-of-court settlement um, between all parties. Can you tell us if there was an out-of-court settlement and the terms of that settlement? Yeah, uh, like I said earlier, uh, it's, it's discussions took place and the leadership of the party and uh, uh, the governors uh, had meeting and uh, together with the uh, aspirant and the, uh, the discussion was very fruitful and that has led to what we got today. And for us, that uh, is showing that there's an, there is a strong bond and internal coercion in PDP and an injury to one person in injury, an injury to all. And when there is disagreement, they are able to gather together to look at the individual differences and resolve it. And that is what I've led to what we've got today. Okay, so um, this is a new territory for you in terms of the party. Um, yourself and the governor have been in the APC um, for years now, and this is a new territory for you. In less than 40, in less than 24 hours, you are going to be in the midst of a contest in a primary. How, what, how confident are you of your chances? Yeah, uh, the good news is that the people of Edo State are not happy with what has happened uh, with the governor in APC, and they, are, and they decided that the governor should move to uh, uh, whatever party he wants to. And the governor chose to go to PDP and because if we felt that PDP uh, uh, has been, uh, the, there are two parties in Edo State really, PDP and APC, and for us, it, the, the best choice was PDP. And we are more emboldened now and more confident now that the choice of the governor was not a wrong choice because if within uh, the time we have joined and uh, issues can be resolved amicably the way it, 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 it has been done today, it shows that the governor really have led us to the right place and we are happy with it. And for the primaries tomorrow, we are confident that with this kind of organization, with this kind of discussion, obviously it will trickle down to the wards and it trickle down to the delegates. And at the end of the day, everybody will be a winner. The governor will be a winner. Other experience will be a winner. Right, so you talked about um, going to the right party and in, in, few, in few days things have been resolved. And that's where, you know, that's a sentiment of a lot of people. They feel that you are just coming to the party and things are happening for you and the governor too quickly. And um, for people who share those kind of sentiments and are grieved within the party, um, what is your approach at resolving these issues? Uh, you see, uh, one good thing about right is that um, when your rights are accommodated, um, obviously you feel uh, uh, whatever differences or uh, whatever feelings you have is already half solved, if not fully solved. And what has happened, like I said earlier, 
is that we are in a party where people discuss with each other. We are in a party now where leadership come together to resolve small issues that can lead to bigger ones. And for all aspirants, they have the right to contest. And for our governor also have the same right to contest. But one good thing is that we met people in this party and obviously we must be able to respect these people. And so in doing that, the governor himself have to go around, have to go around to those that kept this party alive. And also there were aspirants before we came. We cannot just wish them, wish them off. And the governor had to go around them and appeal to them and why they should support him. And that is politics. Politics is all about give and take. The bigger picture is what the leadership are discussing. And the bigger picture is PDP, we have to win the next governorship election. And that is why I said tomorrow we are confident that Mr. Governor will emerge. But it's, the victory is not for Mr. Governor. The victory is for Mr. Governor, for Iyama, for uh, uh, the, uh, 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 Masagbon, even the Gideon that stepped down. The victory will be for him. So at the end of the day, all of us, all the aspirants that have contested are winners. And that is what we have seen in PDP that is exciting me. All right, Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu, many thanks for talking to TVC News.